Hi everyone! I'm here at the lower ground floor of SM Mega Mall in Mandaluyong City, Metro Manila. In this video, I'm going to show you around the lower ground floor. We will explore what new shops have been added as well as the old ones that are still around such as the Ace Hardware right at the very end of this hall in Building B. And right across it is Bibing Kinitan. They're an old store but they've rebranded. Their logo has changed but not the name. They've now grown into a proper coffee shop. Then beside the Ace Hardware store is SM Appliance Center. So if you want to shop for appliances like big TVs, washing machines and the like, uh, this is the place to go. And this is the entrance. And right beside it is RJ Guitar Center, which is, all, which is also an old store. They've been around for a long time now. In fact, many of the other stores I'm seeing along this aisle are also existing stores. So you can reach this part of the mall via escalator as an option all the way to the end of the hall or via the elevator which we just missed <laughs> but that's okay we won't be going up to the next level anytime soon these are the stores that are still around thankfully that made it through the pandemic jb sports is also an old timer which is also nice to see. We still have a couple of branches in the city, but uh, not so many anymore. And this is the main entrance, I believe, to the SM Appliance Store. And then to its right is Boko Express Spice and Sweets. I don't remember them being here the last time I was here, as well as Aurel's, which makes glazed banana thins. Right across the hallway are also some old-time shops still which is good to see like uh, the Mr. Quickie which is an institution and the uh, altar station and to go delivery oh there's also an LBC branch here there's also quickly that's still around in the middle uh, Mang Binatog yep they've also been here for couple of years now as well as look you in and there are textile shops like Bloomingdale's Fine Fancy and uh, Onesimo's Haberdashery for men who are still into proper suits pants and suits there's something for you so this I think is also fairly new called Red Play Factory and right across it is called Imono uh, it's a it's a jewelry kiosk and then there's eye sports uh, ideal vision center optical shop ah and across the hall or across it is also a new restaurant called Koreji. i hope i'm saying that correctly it uh, appears to be a japanese restaurant and this is their menu And this is the other entrance of the SM Appliance Center, also near the second escalator. And then outside of it is John Lemon. They sell primarily lemon juice, cold lemon juice. For your banking needs, there is of course a BDO branch and ATM. BDO is a banking partner or I'm not sure if it is owned by the SM group. Which is why in every SM store, there is at least one BDO branch that you will find inside the mall. And then for kids, this is where you deposit in the Tom's World. Or if you're a kid that's hard. Fun way to burn your money. <laughs> and if 
if you're not satisfied or you still want more, there's also time zone directly beside it. So they're now back in business, fully operational again. Amusement centers like this were among those that closed for a long time at the height of the ECQ. Get ready to climb up some flight of stairs. Ah! This is also fairly new squad skates. If you're old school and you'd like to buy a pair of four-wheel skates, check them out here at the lower ground level. Ah, they have the really good brands as well. Mm. And even brightly lit ones for, for kids, in fact. Or even if you're not a kid, if you like that kind of style. Hello! come back and <laughs> check out a few of their items later there's great image that's still around which i'm happy to let you know and then wonder bake beside it is also a fairly new store and then there's book sale as well which is also an old time store and Silverworks, yes. Also an, an old timer here. This is what the rest of the hallway looks like in the middle. There's uh, NB10, which is also new. I don't know how to translate Hopia in English, but it's like um, mung beans, uh, sweet sandwich, mini sandwich. And then there's here's the food court, uh, what the rest of the lower ground floor looks like. Here at SN Mega Mall. Cycle Shop is still around, happy to say. Then there's Lil's Hobby Center, which is also still around, and Brownies Unlimited. Three old timers here. Oh, if you can only smell what I'm smelling right now. <laughs> I'm almost salivating here. If you're looking for Beard Papa, makers of the famous Queen Pops, they're still around. They've relocated from the upper ground floor previously uh, in front of National Bookstore. So this is now their new location. So Toy Kingdom is somewhere up ahead, which is, which is a huge store. But we will not uh, go there anymore. So you can just stay on the side of the hallway. Zoo Cafe is closed. I'm not sure if temporarily. I hope so. Surplus shop. which uh, specializes in selling expert overruns is also still very much around quality clothing for so much less sorry i'll try to walk a bit faster so that we can cover more ground faster as well western appliances fairly new because this is such a huge it truly is a mega mall one of the biggest in the whole Southeast Asia. So our home for your home furnishing needs is also very much around still and Kuya J restaurant fairly new. Manhan not so new. Concord bar accessory shop not so new as well. 
and these are the kiosks located somewhere in the middle there's now a motorbike helmet uh, kiosk here oh it's i think it's spider the brand is spider so this uh, sign will tell you all <laughs> because there are two buildings here this is one of them mega a and the other one at the other side is mega b so moto world is fairly new as well so this is blade also an old uh, old timer here this is a pet shop bio research these are the pets for sale mostly i think these are yeah rabbits and powders birds on this side which is uncommon most uh, pet stores display dogs other kiosks you will find here so this is a good mix of food and non-food stores for your air courier needs and there's dhl and air 21 still very much around as well as a1 driving which i think is fairly new stamps very old school here are some other shops jamaican patty shop and then yeah if you need to go this is a restroom area beside jamaican patty comic quest is also not new and blue magic right across the cycle shop for your biking needs blue magic and tickles because they tickle my heart and look all the, all these look at all these uh, stuff toys and other lovely gift products and novelty items inside <laughs> cute and then fax parcel and print for your printing needs and photocopying as well then there's Fujifilm which is also old school in in some respects uh, still yep they they still do offer uh, manual photography equipment film photography equipment along with their digital products then there's george eyewear shop beside it then papa Malgrati, which is a local paper maker maker of paper products as well as recycled paper products i love them too uh, they've been around for decades now and then in front of them is taters kiosk then book sale and made for you um gift custom customization <laughs> shop and there's no uh, beauty products i believe like soaps and things made locally and then there's a uh, moto shop huge selection of helmets there's bike plus beside it for your regular bikes if you have someone with you who needs a wheelchair there is a section here a wheelchair wheelchair rental and as well as baby stroller this is in front of wonder bake so going back to our side of the hall yeah, there's bagel girl these are hair accessories for ladies so we're now going down so there's fantasy amusement center on the right carousel get very fun and then another type of carnival ride here beside the carousel up ahead is the famous belgian waffles as you can see a lot of people are buying from them they make delicious waffles that's true i've tried some of them when you reach this point, you have now crossed over to building B. And you will be seeing Zark's Burgers to your right. More helmets. Sandwich Guy, which has also been around. Masuki. Not sure what they're selling. Then there's Bacolli Chicken in front of the escalator. 
and there's Mangan, which is also um, a Filipino restaurant. And I think, yeah, we've uh, covered this side of the lower ground floor. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel for more guides around the city, around Metro Manila. Thank you so much for watching until the end of this video. Until the next one, do have a very rosy day ahead. Bye!